Good morning, my beautiful diamonds. Today is December 14th and it's Thursday. One more day and it's Friday and I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> Today we're going to focus on Matthew chapter 10 verse 28 through 31. And there it reads, don't be afraid of people. They can kill the body, but they cannot kill the soul. The only one you should fear is God, the one who can send the body and the soul to be destroyed in hell or Gehenna. When birds are sold, two small birds cost only a penny, but not even one of those little birds can die without your father knowing it. God even knows how many hairs are on your head, so don't be afraid. You are worth more than a whole flock of birds. Now in the age of Jesus, in the age of Jesus Christ, sparrows were seen as the smallest of all creatures, and pennies were the least valuable Roman coin. Yet, <clears throat> as we see in today's passage, nothing can happen to either the sparrow or the penny without God taking notice. This is because Jesus and Jehovah are sovereign over all creation and they care for their creations. Jesus shared this with his disciples because he knew they would be afraid when he sent them out on an important preaching mission. The disciples were not to take anything with them on the journey except for the clothes on their backs and the shoes on their feet. Many people would oppose their message. They would be judged and rejected. Their task was not easy, and it makes sense that they would have been fearful. Now, despite all of this, Jesus told them, do not be afraid. Why? Not because there was no serious threat or danger, but because Jehovah and Jesus cared for them and was powerful enough to protect them. He warned the sparrows and even pennies were not insignificant to him. <clears throat> if he cared for these things, surely he would care for Jesus' disciples too. Jesus went on to tell them that even the hairs on their heads were numbered. Even the most patient person in the world wouldn't be able to sit and count all the hairs on their heads. And who cares how many of them they have? Who really cares about how many hairs you have on your head? Jehovah and Jesus Christ does. He knows how many hairs are on each and every one of our heads because he cares for us even more than we care for ourselves. He promises to keep us safe in the face of danger and we are worth so much more, far more than sparrows to him. So let's go into prayer to our Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, Yahweh. Heavenly Father, as my loved ones and I go out into the world and face challenges each day, please be with us and guard us from all danger. I come to you in prayer most respectfully, Father. Through your son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Amen. And now you have nothing to fear throughout your day. Now our discussion questions. Why do you think Jesus allowed the disciples to experience situations where they might be judged and rejected? So as you know, I did my research and I gave it some thought and some meditation. And I said, first... It prepared them for the reality of spreading his message, knowing not everyone would accept it. And secondly, he taught them perseverance, resilience, and dependence on God. And lastly, it helped them understand the importance of loving and accepting others, even if they face rejection themselves. Now, by allowing them to face challenges, Jesus was shaping them into strong 
and compassionate, compassionate messengers of his teachings. So there you have that. Our next discussion question. What are some of the challenges that await you and those you care about today? So I thought about some of my challenges. And one of them is resisting temptation and staying true to my faith and my beliefs. Dealing with ridicule or persecution for my faith. Losing family members because I chose to follow Christ instead of men and their man-made rules. Next is never compromising my values. And then coping with feelings of frustration in the face of injustice. And lastly, staying grounded in my faith in the midst of God knows it's a very, very crazy world. <clears throat> and our next last question for discussion, how does having the knowledge that God is both sovereign and he really cares for us, how does that help you get through your challenges? And how does that help me? Knowing that Jehovah and Jesus are not unrighteous. And they'll always remember the love I've shown for them and for their name. I know they are always near me and I'm never alone. They will always have my back right down to the end. And that's what helps me get through life's challenges. Just thinking about that and knowing that. So what about you? Now, we're going to do your power thought for this morning. Are you ready, my beautiful, beautiful diamonds? Our power thought for today is always be content. December 14th. Always be content. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Hebrews 13, 5, Holy Bible, New International Version. Finances can play a big part in a person's sense of contentment. We would all like to always have more money than we need. However, for most of us, there are times in life when that is not the case. It is important for us to keep a good attitude either way. As long as we are breathing on this earth, we are going to encounter a mixture of things we like and things we don't like. But God wants us to be content with what we have, no matter what. Being content shows that we trust God to provide for us what he knows is right at the time. Dave and I experienced many years of very meager finances, and they were difficult years. But we realize now that we learned a lot during that time and have come to appreciate it. Having a good attitude in lean times will help you get through them faster and with greater joy. Power Thought I will always have Jesus. Therefore, I can be content no matter what. So that was just such a powerful thought from uh, Power Thoughts, my beautiful Joyce Myers, who you know I absolutely love. And I like the way she shares her experience of how she had many years of financial struggle, her and her husband, David, but they managed to get through because they learned to rely and trust in God and Christ. In fact, David is the one who brought uh, uh, Joyce to God because she used to be a heathen. <laughs> My beautiful Joyce, a heathen? What? Yes, it's true. So that's why it's so important if you're looking for a mate, for you to pick someone who's going to help you to become stronger and stronger spiritually. And like Joyce also said here, this uh, beautiful uh, devotional, she says, I will always have Jesus. And that's why she can be content no matter what. And I feel the exact same way. Thank you, Joyce. Now for your Bible trivia questions this morning. I got to wake up my brain. I haven't had my coffee yet, man. You know, you know. Okay, so uh, your first question for this morning. Why did Moses flee from Egypt? Exodus chapter 2, verse 11 through 15. 
Next, who was the baby that Pharaoh's daughter found floating in the river? Exodus chapter 2, verse 1 through 10. Third question, what did Esau sell to Jacob? Genesis chapter 25, verse 29 through 34. And your bonus question for today. How old were Abraham and Sarah when Isaac was born? And you can find the answer at Genesis chapter 17, verse 17, verse 21. And Genesis chapter 21, verse 1 through 5. So there you have it. My lovelies, Jehovah and Jesus Christ's greatest creations. Today is going to be a great day. Jehovah God loves you very much. Jesus Christ loves you even, yes, he loves you incredibly. And I love you as well, which is why I get up so early to do my ministry with hopes that it will reach your heart and help to renew your mind. I hope that you have an amazing day. In fact, you're going to have a great day. You know why, my darlings? Because you're going to get out there and you're going to sparkle like the beautiful diamonds that you are.